Hi, we are Girl Scout Tree 43161 and I am Fox. I'm Fennec. And I'm Iggy. And we also have Taz. Today we are going to show you how to make a bandana for your pet. Hi, my name is Fox and today we will be making a bandana for your pet. These are going to be the supplies that you will need to make your bandana. First, you will need your pet's collar, your fabric of choice, your coordinating thread, your chalk, your pencil, your flexible measuring tape, a pair of scissors, some pins, your ruler, you will need your paper to make your pattern, you will need your sewing machine, and last, you will need your iron and ironing board. So the first thing you want to do is take your pet's collar, lay it flat, take your measuring tape, measure how long it's going to be, take half of that measurement, which is about, for me, ten and a half inches, and that's the length that you are going to use for your pattern. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the measurement of the collar, measure from the end of your paper to about how much it is, and for me it is ten and a half inches, you are going to mark the ten and a half inch line on both sides of your paper. For me, I taped two pieces of paper together because my dog is a fairly big sized dog, and the thing you're going to do next is you're going to connect to those two marks, like so, and then you are going to take the corner of your paper, fold it over to match the line, and this is what we are going to be working with. So the next thing we're going to do after you have creased your paper is we are going to cut along this line that you drew and as you see we have some extra paper right here we are going to go ahead and cut this part off too so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to take our pattern and our fabric we are going to trace our pattern onto our fabric so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unfold our fabric. We are going to do this on the wrong side because, because we need to use chalk while outlining the pattern onto the fabric. Line up your pattern with the fabric. Make sure to leave this off, this white piece, because we don't need that. We are going to pin the fabric onto the pattern. Once you have it pinned, you want to trace it with the chalk all the way around. And to cut our fabric through the lines, we are going to leave the paper on, but these lines are here just in case the paper comes loose and we are able to follow the guidelines. Now that you've cut it, you can go ahead and take your pins out. Remove the paper, and this is what you are left with. So the next step you're going to do is you're going to take your fabric, and you are going to get rid of any wrinkles so that we have a nice start. Next step, so we're going to take our fabric, fold it corner to corner. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to take our corner, where we have the crease, and we are going to take our ruler and fold it in two inches. The reason I'm doing two inches is because I have a bigger dog. You can make it smaller if you have a smaller animal of you, if you want. We are going to go ahead and crease that. I'm doing this because it will give it a cleaner, better finish, and have it not fray at the end the way you would the way um, it would happen if you were to not do this, and it would also give it better ends to make it look a lot better. The next step we are going to do is we are going to sew these lines with the sewing machine to keep it in place. And what we are going to do next is we are going to stitch along here, and then we are going to backstitch on each end 
of our line to make sure the thread is secure. And we are going to do it on both sides of the bandana. Next, after you sew your corner, you want to trim off some of the excess string and you want to cut off some of this fabric so you don't have so much extra fabric. After you have sewn these corners, you want to take these two corners and uh, match them inside out. We are going to pin these together to keep it secure while we are sewing it. What you want to do is you want to avoid this stitch line here because it needs to stay open and sew from this corner to this corner to back here, making sure you also don't stitch this part and making sure you back stitch on both sides. Once you are finished, you want to trim off the ends from sewing and you want to cut off this corner piece. Do not cut off where the thread is. You just want to snip it off enough to not create a bulk at the end when you fold it inside out. Now what you want to do is you want to fold it right side out. Now what you want to do now is you want to reach your finger in there and just straighten the tip out so that it looks better. Or you can just rub it like this to move a better tip. And then we're going to take it, bring it to the ironing board, and press it with the iron. Now what we're going to do is we're going to iron it to crease it and make sure there are no wrinkles. And then after so, you want to take these, fold them over so we have a nice stitch line, and go ahead and crease that. This is going to give us a stitch line where our collar will go. Now let's take it to the sewing machine. This is where we put our little iron mark. And we are going to stitch all the way across for our collar to go. So what we are going to do is we are going to trim these end threads and then we are going to do a quarter inch stitch just to give it a more professional look. Now after that we are going to just trim the threads that we made from the sewing. And then next I will show you how to put on the collar. Now you have a finished bandana. Now you will be taking your pest collar, sticking it through, and now you can either bunch it up or you can just leave it and now just put it on your dog. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Bye! There are many ways to get involved. You can adopt an animal, foster an animal, and volunteer. Also, you can make a monetary or supply donation. We chose Seattle Humane because we love animals and wanted to pair up with a local shelter. To learn more about how you can help, visit seattlehumane.org.